I want to visit Michele, a Brazilian ice cream shop owner in Canavieras in Bahia. But before we start, Michele has a message to the people of this beautiful town. Pessoal de Canavieras, pessoas de Canavieras, valorizem o lugar que vocês têm, que é único no Brasil, eu creio que no mundo também, ela vai poder me falar sobre, mas é um lugar fantástico que precisa ser valorizado pela própria população. É, convidar as pessoas de fora para vir e tratá-las bem para que retornem e falem muito bem de canavieiras, porque o que a gente quer é que o lugar seja uh, visitado e bem falado e frequentado por longos e longos tempos. And we did come back because we love this town. Bom dia from Canavieiras, my favorite town in Brazil. We are at the Sitio Histórico, the most beautiful spot you'll find in this town. And today we're going to meet Michele, a local business owner. And what she does for a living, we're going to see right now. So hello, we are here at Milkshake Mix at the Sitio Historico, and I'm here with the owner Michele. Uh, everybody knows Michele, but for those of you who don't know her, uh, Michele, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, so I said one more time, my name is Michele, and I live in here in Canavieras since 26 years. No, no, no. what? <laughs> Stop, corta, corta, corta. <laughs> Are you living here for 26 years or since 2016? I said what? Let's do this one more time, okay? One more time. And so I moved to here uh, at 2016? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2016. 2016. And first I work with ice cream shop and after that I do... I... Ah, eu esqueço as palavras. You have an ice cream shop and you have a restaurant, right? And after I have a, a restaurant. Right. Yeah, well, help me. Um, <laughs> we really liked both the, the, the coffee, the, the ice cream and the restaurant here. And um, what I wanted to ask you was, because we came here last year mm. and we spent one or two months here <laughs> and what we did every single day was sit here at those tables with our uh, computers for six hours and I was wondering what were you thinking? Who are those people? Ah, I <laughs> was thinking why he came here? They came here and um, use the computers but don't say anything. Eat, <laughs> good, but don't say anything. So I start to speak in English but my English is not very well and she very she, good. She, she, uh, speak with me and, and learn me some words too and then I was thinking oh my god I need to change my furniture <laughs> to give more comfortable to everybody and what's fine but um, after that she said to me it was a work to travel about travel um, another place or oh, every Many kind of place. <laughs> exactly. So we did lots of online work and you had really good Wi-Fi. This is why we chose this ah, place. Então. So we were really happy <laughs> to have um, good food and drinks and internet here. Okay, yes. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, how did you get the idea of, of starting a business? Um, I was a banker. Ah, it was banker. A banker? Banker, and the banker said to me, going out. And I'm very, very sad. They let you go? Yes. And I think, why I do to work to, to have money? So I take my, how can I say, my... Your compensation money, or...? Yes, mm -hmm. I take my compensation money and buy an ice cream machine. Ah, nice. But I didn't have the place to put the ice cream. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, start to looking for the place. 
and play some city that was good to open this kind of business. Were you living in Canavieros at that time? No, no, I, I live at, yes, um, El Napolis, another mm -hmm. city near to here. In Bahia as in well? In Bahia. Right? Okay, so you had the ice cream machine and you didn't know where to put it and where to start a business? Yes. And then I start to look in um, a city, a good city to do this. And first I stay in Belmonte, a beautiful <laughs> city, um, beautiful city, but not so good to business. Hmm. Is it smaller? Smaller? No, no, no. It's the same, same tamanho, size, same, same size mm -hmm. to Canaveras, but okay. doesn't have many people to buy my business. I see. And then some guy said to me, ah, oh, you need to visit Canavieras. And, and then I take my car, took my car, and start to drive at the Bay Road. The road? The road. And came to Canavieras. Wow, so what was your first impression when you saw this town? It was a wonderful place to live mm -hmm. because we have beach, we have uh, the port, the port, the nature, nature is yes, the nature, the and nature, it's a natural reserve. Yes, the nature's um, uh, many place to to explore it by mm. business. Many people passing by the street. It was good for my business. And then I see that's it. That's, this is the place to hmm. start everything I I want. So this place here, I think, is the most beautiful spot in this town. The Sitio Historico, right? Um, is it a very popular spot amongst the locals, the people? No. And the first no? time, it, the first time, there's no. Body come here. Really? <laughs> and my my first shop it was in downtown. Mm. And after I take my machine and, and put here in Sitio Historico. And then the people start to coming coming? Start to come? Start to, to come, come start to come here in this place. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. So there is lots of restaurants and um, bars right here, right nearby. Mm -hmm. But I think what you started here back in the day was like something new, right? Yeah, there was the restaurant, but not nothing about the ice cream. Mm -hmm. And some people come here, but it was a not good to to the business here. Mm. But I think it's after the ice cream shop, the other people come here frequently, mm -hmm. more okay. frequently. Ah, so they, they learned about your shop downtown first and then yes. they came here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you, is it true that um, some people maybe are hesitant to come here to the Sitio Historico because they think it's like, you know, fancy, expensive, maybe they don't want to spend so much yes. money. Is it true? Yes. It, is it true? But nowadays, it's menos. Less? Less. Nowadays it's less. Um, everybody come here and we have music at the night. Yeah. In the weekends. So the people, the population yeah. come here more frankly, frequently too. Right. We saw that as well. Uh, so at night there's like lots of stuff going on. And um, I think people now realize that this is just the same price, you know, as shops downtown. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It just looks prettier. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, um, it's really my, pretty. My, my mind think everything every time. So I put this, this picture and then I put this. You see it, the other place, the decoration, you see. But it looks even better now than oh, last year. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I brush. You painted? Painted the 
disso aí também. Muito bom. Yeah, so nice. So nice. What were the problems or challenges that you that you saw? Canavir is it's very beautiful place, but to by work, by employment, it's not so good. Mm. And we have um, um, problem with the tourists. The tourist doesn't come here mm. all the time. Yeah. Just in December, maybe January and February, and mm. the other month there's no tourist here. Yes, I think Canavieras is a hidden gem. Once you see it, you you think, oh, this is so nice. But most people don't even learn about Canavieras. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get here by car, so it's a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody speak about Canavieras. There's no market marketing about mm -hmm. the place. I see. And for some people, doesn't like the tourist, but. Uh, another place, the business of the place, the the people who live here need the tourist. Uh, so you said during the pandemic it was a little bit harder. People didn't want to spend money. Yes. Is that has that improved again? Yes, I start to to make a, how can I say, entrega in casa? Delivery, uh, delivery. delivery. Mm -hmm. We start with delivery, uh, but the people was very afraid to spend money mm -hmm. at the time. A little hesitant? Yes, yeah. very hesitant. But after it was better and yes. start to buy one day and pass five days and buy a little more and it was difficult, but it's, how can I say? Uh, it improved. It yeah, the yeah, people the found the, the, the convenience of mm. getting delivery, right? Yes. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After the pandemic, I buy th things to sell, everybody, but the, the preço. Oh, the price. The price, oh my God. There was high price and the, it was so difficult to, to work in two after the pandemic. Yes, because the prices increased yes, again. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. definitely <laughs> hard. Um, but still, you're having lots of people come in. Mm -hmm. What do you think people like about this place? Ah, okay. Here I serve it, the, all the family, uh, the children to ice cream, uh, the mom to eat something, and the bad, bad no, the dad, bad, the dad to drink some <laughs> beer <laughs> or some kind of drink. <laughs> um, the people love it, the ice cream, the, the children love it, the ice cream. Yes, so I service too. everybody. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I will talk about the other place. Oh yes, future oh, yes. projects. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you have this well-running business. Mm -hmm. It uh, looks great. People love it. Do you have any future plans, future projects? Yes, I have. Um, and at the end of this year, we, we will change the place and go to another place, uh, more, mayor, biggest, bigger, mm -hmm. bigger than here. And I think and open another business like a coffee shop. In to receive Alexia <laughs> to work <laughs> and do all the videos to YouTube. <laughs> so uh, your new place is going to be more directed at people who maybe come with their computers, yes. their laptops and work online. Like a place to network. Mm, yes. Nice. And it's more comfortable <laughs> and more, more with uh, internet very well mm -hmm. to work nice and what else with ice shop wise with ice cream too mm, so with coffee and ice cream great internet and great internet and great restaurant mm -hmm. too nice. so this is really great because we love 
having cozy places, good furniture where we can sit for six hours every mm -hmm. day. And what we particularly like is some good, strong coffee. Will you have an espresso machine? Yes, <laughs> I will buy a, a very good fresh a <laughs> espresso <laughs> espresso machine. Now I have a little, mm -hmm. a little, but in the other place, and uh, I will buy something better. Nice. I think it will definitely attract um, locals and foreigners, tourists alike, because mm. people love good coffee. Mm -hmm. So Michele. Tem uh, uma mensagem pe pelo o povo de Canavieras. <laughs> I have a message in Portuguese. Hey! <laughs> pessoal, pessoal de Canavieras, pessoas de Canavieras, valorizem o lugar que vocês têm, que é único no Brasil, eu creio que no mundo também, ela vai poder me falar sobre, mas é um lugar fantástico que precisa ser valorizado pela própria população. É, convidar as pessoas de fora para vir e tratá-las bem para que retornem e falem muito bem de canavieiras, porque o que a gente quer é que o lugar seja uh, visitado e bem falado e frequentado por longos e longos tempos. So I um, think you said you love everyone yes. and everybody should come here. Yes. <laughs> Aqui é, virou minha cidade de coração, então continua o convite para vocês virem, continuarem vindo a Canavieiras, continuarem é, consumindo Canavieiras e com certeza a gente vai sempre trabalhar para ter o melhor a oferecer para vocês, para toda a família de Canavieiras. Well, I definitely agree. I think Canavieras is a, a cidade de coração. Mm -hmm. We definitely feel home here um, by you, with your hospitality and all the other people. I think I can just say people come and visit Canavieras. It's a really great town. You can do so many things. You have good food, restaurants, you have lots of nature and uh, lovely people. People, the machine don't stop. <laughs> Lots don't, of ice cream. Don't Lots listen. Lots of ice cream. <laughs> and I just want to say I'm so impressed by you and what you have created here um, with your business and uh, with how you make everybody feel like family. Ah, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And one more time. Thank you everyone to come here to visit us and to uh, send a message all to all the world. Si. <laughs> que, que bom conclusão. <laughs> <laughs> Muito obrigada para seu tempo para a entrevista. Obrigada. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Corta, diretor. Oh, thank you. <laughs>